Okay, so then this is where I won. I didn't want to leave the bummer yet because I remember listening to a Metro Media cassette in 1990 or 91. Ninja Man was on the cassette talking about, he was saying something about Cutty Ranks and the bummer, and then you seemed, he DJed, and then you seemed to appear out of nowhere and started to really. Oh, yeah, that, is on, that is on Metro Media. Yes. You know, well, me have to shut him up. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> I mean, I have to cut and run because he couldn't deal with it that, that, uh, that night. But at the end of the day, Ninja Man was a sure man. <laughs> I still was I always be a sure man under my eyes. Yeah. Ninja Man have a biblical craft, them, and they don't know that we have mine. Yeah. So we just, we just, that night there was my night. Mm -hmm. and, and to be honest, though, mm -hmm. Ninja Man was a great help. Okay. With my upliftment, because that night when me and Ninja Man clash was, uh, then after that, the next week was Sting. And we take Sting 1990. And we take it. Okay. Yeah, you see? Yeah. And uh, you don't know Ninja Man was a man for Sting. For sure. But me and him never did clash, but I uh, me take 1990. Okay, you because see? Bomber was so hot. Yes. You understand? And all the rest of the song, them like Pressy Chigan, them song, they will come with it. I'm mean, texting, mm -hmm. and so Ninja Man helped with my upliftment because after that is everything when I touch is just turned into gold. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And just keep making hits after hits, mm -hmm. hits after hits, and still I make it until today. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Want to go through some more of the catalog here. Another one where this was one of the first times I actually heard another artist call up other artists directly on a record was Who Sent Me Down? All right. That was yeah. when you, you called up Bojo, Admiral Bailey, Grindsman, Ninja Man, Kilpton, and Cabra. How did you yeah. come up with that record there? Well, that record, <laughs> so uh, yeah, good story. When okay. Tiger just come out to the song, he did no. I will you take man for up and I read him there. Mm -hmm. Was shocking vibes with him. And I find that song, we hit the man for shocking vibes. And when we leave the studio, one of my friends in the year, the whole of man, they will laugh after me too. I say, I will cut you and go with that, right? They look like cutting thing I take a nose dive. And, mm -hmm. and the man come tell me, and me, me did have a show, then I watch it and go do the show down there and, and book up, uh, run into where I'm named there, uh, book up uh, Court Nicole, who own Roof International label. Yes. I own Roof International Club. Mm -hmm. And... Him, him, Kurt Nicole end up give me an extra money to do a show up at the club. Mm -hmm. And then Kurt Nicole I say, I'm up already, man, he want me. He did not like me if you come over to the roof and come be on the roof label. Mm -hmm. And I tell him, I can't buy one or two singles for you, but he's a penthouse artist. He's not leaving penthouse because he's not good for left the roof. You know? The root of the team, because Penthouse is still part of the root in spite of all the, the Penthouse boss and the ado. Yeah, mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I eventually, because of where the man them in a Patrick Robertson in a shocking vibe studio was doing, I'm not going to say Patrick Robertson have anything to do with it. He's an engineer and some little man in there. And probably, you know, jealousy and bad mind, I don't know. Okay. If I that cause it and them a laugh after my tune, so me just go back and record the song for Roof. And then when we did vice it for, 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 for shocking vibe, we never put the six million ways to die in it. So we just add the six million ways to die to it. Choose one. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that just make it even more perfect and put more energy in it too. Shell where the place with it, and to be honest with you, mm -hmm. honestly, after my voice the song, mm -hmm. I never, to be honest, I never think this song going to be any major hit. <laughs> okay. To be honest with you. I never think the song was going to be like a major, major, like major hit. You see me? Yeah. So, let us say, you know what? Uh, I never believe in a song like that. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We never believe in a song like that, we say. 
it are going to be a major hit. So, yes, when this, uh, 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 what Barry O'Rear do, we, we, we like take the, the murder she wrote rhythm and combine it with the wonderful world, beautiful people rhythm from Jimmy Cliff. Yeah. It's like Barry O'Rear becomes a genius. <laughs> Sly is the one who create the Bam Bam rhythm and possibly the other one too. Mm-hmm. But it's like him, this, where Barry O'Rear take it now and, you know, merge the two beat together. It's the first I ever see that. I'm the first one probably ever come out on a two rhythm. Yeah. One rhythm merge into another rhythm in Jamaica, which is the way the man, the, 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 the who say me done, that are the title. We hit them on a hood that I come with the six million ways to die sample. Mm-hmm. And what Barry O'Rear do when he drop his song, I eight weeks that spent a number one in England. And uh, Jamaica was a number one song too, to be, uh, to be honest. Uh, everywhere it hit, I was just number one position. Yeah. You see? That is before I come up with the other song, Limb by Limb, but we don't reach this yet. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> because and, I wanted and, to know what and, made you and, actually what made you actually put everybody's name in it, Bosha, Admiral Bailey, Grindsman, and yes, uh, right. that part that part no we are, we are going to now. Hmm. Look, in other days, Bojo, not even like Grindsman. Grindsman hmm. is just have a name within the dance hall circle, but he never have many records. Hmm. You understand? So he never have really that significant, but you know, it's a youth where me and Grindsman was bridging for cool like that. And first of all, Bojo was a very significant artist. Mm-hmm. And uh, all of the other artists, them name what we call. Ninja Man, Kirpotan, Admiral Ninja Man, Ninja Man and all of the people, them name what we call, and that song was significant. And let me tell you something about me, Pri. Mm-hmm. If I don't consider you significant, I now call your name and put your name yeah. in my song. Because that's only going to make you more famous. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I must rate me, rate you why I do it. Got you. You see? You start the thing and it's a way for you create that, you know, controversy mm-hmm. there and you can make more money that way there. Mm-hmm. Just like what about Tequila and Beanie Man, they used to do clash with them one another. I know they turn friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Cartel and Movado. It's yeah. the same thing. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, that was the reason why we put Bujo in there and because Bujo is a very significant artist. Mm-hmm. So, we have to tell him to come off of the right. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah. You see? Yeah. Uh, Admiral Bailey, you know, was an artist when me and him did have a, a beef before that. You know, after a while, we all grew it. But yeah. in those days, we did have a beef. Did now, we don't do no details. Yeah. You know, <laughs> from my incident in England. So, we just, after just knock him in the face with that one day. You <laughs> understand? Yeah. You see, so it's more for more than one reason. Mm-hmm. You see, but at the same time, him still have to give me respect based upon I put him near me in my tune because it make him even more significant. Mm-hmm. Because me look at the thing from both angles, you know. If you're not significant, why me should I call your name? Right? If you move to killer right now and try to call killer name, you're not significant. It's not answer you. <laughs> <laughs> no. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com. <laughs>